Well, good Wednesday morning, everyone. We had a little bit of a stormy overnight. We even saw a few stronger thunderstorms. A couple severe thunderstorm watches and warnings were out throughout the overnight. Thankfully, most of that activity now well out of our area. We're pretty clear right now as far as rain is concerned. Still a lot of cloud cover out there, but you can see still a few spotty rain showers around that we'll have to contend with through the rest of the morning and likely through midday as well. But as I mentioned, there were a few reports of severe weather as we went through the overnight. Actually, a couple reports of some large hail in both Washtenaw and Hillsdale County, as well as a lot of damaging winds once you went over towards the southwest corner of the state. Temperature wise, we are still very mild this morning. Everywhere running right around that 50 degree mark, 50 degrees in Lansing, 51 degrees the current temperature in Jackson. But those temperatures will be taking a nosedive as we head into the second part of the day today. We likely stay mild through right around midday temperatures, at least into the upper 40s. But once we get into those early afternoon hours, they start to drop off quickly. We'll be in the mid 40s for a lot of the early afternoon. But then those temperatures make it down to the 30s and ultimately the 20s as we head into the overnight. And with that, we'll see those lingering rain showers start to change over into snow showers like they're already seeing off to our north. So we can time all this out for you with the future track and we'll keep the, at least a chance of a spotty shower here or there throughout the rest of the morning right on through the midday. But once we get into the afternoon hours, we're starting to cool down a lot. Winds will turn to be out of north, the north. That's what's bringing in the cooler air, but it's also what is changing over the rain showers into snow showers. So look for the snow showers to be around for a lot of those later evening hours, and we may very well see a burst of heavier snowfall right around the 6 or 7 o'clock hour. And we'll keep the snow showers around for a good chunk of the overnight. I'm anticipating a little bit of enhancement off of Lake Michigan, so likely fill in a little bit more blues through this area right around 10, 11 o'clock. But then the winds start to die down through the overnight, really bringing an end to that snow threat. But as we go into the day on Thursday, there is another system that's likely going to affect us. It's passing to our south, and you'll notice it once we get into the afternoon. A couple light snow showers starting to push through the area, mainly to the south of I-96. Shouldn't have too much of a consequence out of that. I'd be surprised to see much more than a dusting off of that system. But it will pave the way for some very chilly air to filter all the way into the area for Friday, where highs likely top out only in the upper 20s to near 30. For today, we've already hit that high temperature of 55 degrees. Temperatures will be falling from there. That changes over to the rain showers to snow showers. And we'll have some snow showers around through the overnight with a low of 24 degrees. A little bit of accumulation is expected, maybe up to a half inch. A couple places over by the lakeshore could even see up to an inch through the overnight tonight. And for tomorrow, it is a chillier day. 33 degrees is your high temperature, mostly cloudy skies. And we do have those snow showers starting to move into the area for those afternoon hours. In your three-day forecast, chilly day on Thursday, even cooler on Friday with a high of only 29 degrees. Can't rule out a snow, few snow flurries for that day as well. But then temperatures start to rebound as we head through the weekend. Highs in the upper 30s on Saturday. We'll be in the 50s come Sunday. Monday and Tuesday look like we still have highs up around that 50 degree not mark, but it also could be coming with some more rain showers, possibly even some thunderstorms for Monday. And that light snow definitely means you're going to want to give yourself a few extra minutes tomorrow morning on your morning commute. Yes, definitely. And we're just going to be pretty breezy throughout the afternoon hours today, so it's going to make things feel very chilly. Bundle up. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. Yep.